Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Future scenes could see Tom King get justice as Belle Dingle started thinking about reporting him to the police as a result of the mistreatment she experienced on Emmerdale. The beloved ITV soap opera character played by Eden Taylor Draper was called back to Dale Head on Monday after learning that the location had been abandoned in disarray. But as soon as she stepped foot on the land, she noticed a camera that the evil veterinarian had hidden there to watch her every action, even though she covered it up. The revelation was enough to make her keep an eye out for a camera at Wishing Well Cottage on September 26. Lydia Dingle then talked about the potential of filing charges against Tom. After a while, Belle talked to Lydia about taking action, but she was reluctant to make him face the music since she didn't want to risk not being believed. In a trying moment, Lydia pointed out to Belle that she had proof that could be used against Tom, something she was not allowed to do when she came forward with Craig Reed, her rapist. Belle seems receptive to the idea of exacting revenge on Tom as the meeting came to an end, but will she actually follow through on it? Actor James Chase, who starred in Tom King, is scheduled to depart the series later this year. Fans of the soap opera are eagerly awaiting his demise, cautioning the executives that it would be a grave error to kill him off. Before mentioning Tom King's personal retribution, a Corey fan added, I hope prison as I hated it when Jeff got killed off in Corey as it didn't really feel like justice had been served, plus, if they did kill him, it would just show that Emmerdale cares more about drama than focusing on abuse and the effects on the victim even after the abuser gets locked up. Other viewers have advocated for victims and survivors of domestic abuse, urging the producers of the soap opera to develop a more complex plot for Belle's husband, who abuses her physically and mentally. One fan mockingly responded to another who questioned how tedious Tom could be fired from Emmerdale, saying, I hope it goes to trial and he gets a long prison sentence but as it's Emmerdale he will be killed off no doubt and there will a whodunit storyline. Another quickly entered the discussion, speculating that victims and survivors of domestic abuse would benefit from Tom being imprisoned. I also hope for this, they wrote. Tom being brought to justice may encourage real-life DV victims to report their abuser whereas him dying just tells them that the only way to escape an abuser is if the abuser dies. I hope he goes to prison, I'm sick of villains and Soapland being killed off before they face actual punishment, wrote a third person, jumping in. Then someone else concurred, emphasizing the need of representation on screen. In general, soap operas should motivate victims to report abuse and seek assistance. To be honest, I have a suspicion that this will occur since the creators have been working so hard with charities to be precise. Will Tom receive justice? In this evening's Emmerdale episode, Lydia Dingle discovered Belle completely rearranging the house. A camera on Dale Head's floor was discovered by Lydia and Belle yesterday. Bell, once again clueless, came to the appalled conclusion that Tom had placed it some months prior. All Bell could do was search wishing well for more cameras. When Lydia saw how nervous Bell was, she asked to have some meal in the hopes that she would talk to them about the cameras and the possibility of calling the police on Tom. Bell was first adamant about not handling the cops in a stressful manner. Yet after some time, she began to consider her alternatives and inquired about Lydia's experience upon reporting her old childhood buddy Craig. Lydia and Craig simply happened to cross paths. Craig found out he was the father of a small child named Toby when he caught up with his buddy. Though stillborn, he was born to Lydia while they were living with the children. Lydia was sexually assaulted by Craig last year as a result of his obsession. It was unsuccessful for her to report Craig because there was insufficient proof for the police to charge him. They had evidence of Tom's abuse and control, which Lydia shared with a terrified Belle during their conversation. Reporting Tom wouldn't be the same as Craig, Lydia said. Lydia spotted Belle outside as they spent the rest of the afternoon together. After expressing her opinions, she went on to say that she would help Belle follow any course of action she felt like doing. Belle had more to ponder even though it didn't leave her with a clear conclusion. The following week, Amelia appears to have realized how horrible Tom is, and her action is a positive step in the right direction. Belle is more than happy to accept her invitation to a private meeting. However, might this be all a ruse? Tom simply lets himself in, blocks the door, and locks it, shocking Belle as she waits for Amelia to arrive at the Dingles. Without a way out, Belle is stuck. What would Tom, who stands to gain nothing, do now that he has her all by himself? 
fans of the ITV soap opera Emmerdale are certain they've unearthed another victim of Tom King. Recently, a plot involving coercive control and abuse involving Tom, played by James Chase, and Belle Dingle, portrayed by Eden Taylor Draper, has been explored on the serial opera. The Dingles promised to protect Belle after she bravely left Tom and told her family the truth about his abusive behavior in a recent episode last week. As suspicions about him increased, the evil Tom took down every surveillance camera he had set up at Belle's house in order to spy on her. Meanwhile, he persisted in telling his uncle Jimmy King that he was innocent and that Belle's charges were baseless. Tom was let off from his position at the neighborhood veterinary clinic after rumors about his violent behavior circulated. Some villagers stood up for Tom despite the antagonist's evil deeds, even though the majority of them rallied against him. Despite Belle's concerns about his aggressive tendencies, Tom's new romantic interest, Amelia Spencer, backed him and Jimmy stood by his nephew, insisting on his innocence. At the conclusion of the show on Friday, after it seemed as though Tom had disappeared, it was disclosed that everything had been a part of his evil plan. Amelia, who had earlier confronted Belle, met with him on the outskirts of the village and gave information to a planning Tom. Amelia had thought that they would be able to spend more time together, but Tom turned her down, telling her that he wanted her to spy on Belle in order to seek a divorce and be with her. Using social media to draw attention to a previous plot detail, fans speculate that Belle and Amelia may not be the only victims of Tom. As viewers will remember, Tom had his car stolen the previous year when he was ambushed by an unidentified group of thugs. Many fans theorized at the time that Tom might have staged the incident to win over the viewers, but watchers are now questioning whether there's more to it. Does anyone remember this time last year when Tom's car was stolen and he was just randomly beaten up? Asked one person. A different account said, nothing happened with that storyline. Could this be tied into previous abusive relationships that we're not aware of? I was just considering that. Really peculiar. Another wrote, I hope the writers haven't just forgotten about it, and a third added, fair comment, it's safe to assume he has done it before. Still another fan said, I assumed he set that up himself to start into the whole manipulative storyline. Eden Taylor Draper, star of Emmerdale, has shared further details about the startling new revelation that her character Belle King made. After discovering evidence that her violent husband Tom has been secretly photographing her, Belle is thinking about filing a police report about him the next week. The news comes as Belle's landlord Kim Tate encourages her to pay a visit to Dale Head Home, which has been laying unoccupied in recent weeks. Kim discloses that there is a mess on the property. One of the covert cameras that Tom had used to spy on Belle after she had broken up with him is discovered by Belle and Lydia Dingle when they go to look into it. Despite his best efforts to hide his tracks, Tom made the mistake of inadvertently leaving one camera behind. Regarding the moments, Eden said, I think the most unsettling, horrible thing that has happened thus far is when Belle finds the camera. Obviously, Tom's abuse has a physical component, but the fact that it occurs in her house makes it psychologically horrifying as well. It's where Belle felt safe and I don't think she can wrap her head around it. After learning of the finding, Lydia advises Belle to call the police and report Tom's numerous crimes. Belle remains reluctant and challenges Lydia on her experiences when she reported rapist Craig Reed last year. Eden went on, Belle talks with Lydia because, well, it's a big decision, and she believes that calling the police will make things worse. Belle feels unsafe no matter what she does, and she has no idea what to do. Lydia shares how she came to the decision to report Craig, as well as the implications for herself. Belle's candor and openness with Lydia, coupled with Lydia's reciprocation, truly helps her to understand her next course of action. It's difficult for Lydia, and she gets terribly upset and broken when Belle leaves the room. However, Lydia is alone during that time. In my opinion, Lydia is more in need of Belle's support at that particular time than Belle is of Lydia. Belle is so wrapped up and obsessed in it, and clearly Lydia is still processing what occurred after all this time. Check out our 23 spoiler images previewing the major storylines and our collection of 10 massive spoilers for more information about next week's Emmerdale episodes. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.